What's going on guys? It's Greg here, AKA NY Prepper. I'm here in Tennessee to hunt some bears. My first time hunting in Tennessee. I'm here in Northeastern Tennessee at a undisclosed location. Should be a good spot. We're up at like 3,500 feet in elevation. I'll show you guys the terrain. It's really beautiful here. Very uh, steep mountains. Absolutely gorgeous weather. So for personal protection, I have my Glock 20 with some 200 grain hard cast bullets. It's just for protection if something were to go wrong. If the bear charges me, which shouldn't happen, or if the bear gets wounded. But, you know, you never know. And my main hunting rifle is my 416 Ruger. And these are 350 grain Barnes TTSX hand loads. They should be going right around 2,500 feet per second. I've done a lot of videos with these loads and with this rifle. It's a Ruger M77, 416 Ruger. It's very powerful, probably a little overkill, but some of the bears here in uh, northeastern Tennessee get up over 600 pounds. So it's better to have a little more power than a little bit less so you don't have as much tracking to do. Bears have a lot of fat and fur so if there's a small hole the fat in the fur will kind of prevent the blood from leaking out and you won't have much of a blood trail and it'll be hard to find the bear so in this kind of terrain i want to drop the bear as quickly as possible and then here's just my day pack and i just have my usual stuff in there so hope you guys enjoy the video my first time hunting in tennessee i'm really excited so let's see what happens. Let's see if I spot any bears or any sign. But it's a good area here. Look at this stunning terrain, guys. Really high up here. Probably almost 4,000 feet up. Leaves started to turn over here. It's uh, October 12th. October 12th. those leaves beautiful just want to show you guys the beautiful scenery here looks like a storm or small tornado came through here and took down all these trees and created a clearing but we're on this trail here that goes on the top of this ridge for many miles so we're just gonna walk a little further here and then just find a nice spot to sit down and just overwatch the hillsides here because it's like a big ridge so on the left it drops down and then on the right it drops down so we're just going to go a little further and uh, find a spot and hopefully we'll see something as the sun goes down there's a lot of oaks here so it's a good spot but that view is insane Wow. OK, 
at this giant uprooted tree, guys. Check it out. Lots of trees down here. There must have been a big storm. This giant oak tree fell over. So my dad's down there. You can see the orange. And uh, there's like a sharp drop off over here. It's like a straight up cliff. I'm gonna hike up a little bit more. Look at this giant, looks like a uh, maple, giant maple. Look at that thing, it's massive. And now the pine tree there, looks like a white pine fell onto it. The top broke off and it's just leaning up against it. It's a massive maple tree here, humongous. The leaves are starting to change. It's just amazing scenery here. Wow. That big hickory there. Amazing views. So I think I'm going to just stay over here and overwatch this area here looks good it's a massive oak here look at that big oak should be a bunch of acorns around another tree falling over looks like an oak it's a little draw over here i think i'm gonna actually hang out by this draw, go down in there so I can see the draw and the surroundings. Should be good. It's just amazing views up here. All right, guys, I'm at my spot here. Just gonna sit here until it gets dark, see if a bear comes through looking for acorns. There's a bunch of oak trees here all oak trees trails up there so let's see what happens see if we see any bear really beautiful day today blue skies 70 degrees it's nice to uh, escape the cold and dreary weather of Pennsylvania come down south and get a little extra summer days in before winter arrives lots of big oak trees here check it out big oak tree there that's what you want to look for when you're hunting bear in the east you're looking for oaks if you got fresh acorns on the ground, that's the ideal scenario. All those acorns on the ground, they smell and draws the bear in. Another big oak right here. So I'm just uh, standing behind this tree here. Break up my silhouette and that's pretty much it. Just wait and see if any bears come. Super quiet. Everything is still so green. In Pennsylvania, it's already like past peak in many areas where I live, northern Pennsylvania, north central Pennsylvania. A lot of the leaves are already off the trees. Here, it's like just beginning. And ferns are still green. All right, guys, the sun is going down. It's starting to get dark now. It's getting cool. So far, no sign of bear, but I think it's a good spot here. 
So I'm just going to wait and see what happens as it starts to get darker. Maybe a bear will wander through. I didn't get a chance to do any scouting. Um, you know, my dad is older, so, you know, he doesn't really have the same physical capability anymore to, you know, hike several miles a day and scout a lot of rough terrain. So we didn't do any scouting. We just, you know, looked for an area that looked decent just from, you know, the tree cover and the terrain and stuff like that. So, but it's always fun to be in the woods. Temperatures are dropping now. It's so comfortable out here. It's like, I don't know, upper 50s with a light breeze. It just feels so good. It's still very green. Very green. A lot more green than I expected it to be at this elevation. We're at 4,000 feet here. And still very green. So... Maybe the bears are going to start moving next week. There's supposed to be a hard freeze and hard frost next week. So maybe they're going to start moving more after that. Now they're kind of still like in summer mode. But it's always fun going to the woods no matter what. And especially a new area, Tennessee. I've never hunted here before. So... It's always good to learn something new, go somewhere new, expand your horizons. So that's pretty much it, guys. Sun's going down soon. My dad wants to leave the woods already. It's just awesome coming here and hunting with him, regardless of how good the spot is or how much bear I see doesn't really matter you know he's got lung cancer he's had it since uh, COVID so every moment I spend with him is always precious anytime we go hunting like this whether it's a good spot or a bad spot or I see a bear or I don't I don't care it's just you know spending these moments with him it's most important to me Look at how beautiful it is here, guys. Tennessee is beautiful. Amazing mountains here. Really tall mountains. All right, guys. It's hiking back. Enjoy the beautiful views on the way back. The sunset. those mountains guys stunning stunning mountains look at that guys it's like looking towards Roan Mountain and the North Carolina border just stunning mountains here check it out massive mountains Look at that view, guys. It's amazing. <laughs>